Jean and Marilyn Jones from the Suquamish and the Sklalem tribes are here today and Jean and Marilyn have come to welcome us and to bless this project and to say a few words. And uh, it's, it's really exciting to come down, come down to the old barn here and see so many happy faces here ready to plant trees. I was standing there praying. I had my hands out like this and I was praying for the stream. And as I stood there praying, there was three or four salmon come swimming up the swimming up the stream. And the guys were the people that was there said, Wow, it's a powerful prayer. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it wasn't my prayer at all. It was all the work that everybody done. We are on Tarbu Creek on the Olympic Peninsula in Washington, celebrating the tenth annual plantathon. The plantathon is a greenbelt scale planting of 3,000 trees. Um, as you can see, there are about 175 volunteers here today from five schools who've come out to help restore salmon habitat all along Tarbu Creek. So a week before the planting every year, we train about 35 crew leaders. Many of these, about two-thirds of these, are teenagers from our local high schools. And they essentially lead the event and teach this, the volunteers how to plant the trees. This year we have three different kinds of methods that we're using because we're in one of the toughest parts of the stream. We're in the wettest area of Tarbu Creek where reed canary grass has invaded and really shaded out all of the native trees. And so the volunteers you see here today are using willow stakes and they're using nursery logs and they're also planting single trees to try to put some shade and structure back into Tarbu Creek. So the Plantathon is, the pro is a project of many, many people. We may be a one-day event, but there are many people who've been working on this for four or five months. And um, the schools this year involved are Port Townsend School District's Ocean Program and the Students for Sustainability. The Chimicum School District's Pie Program is involved, as well as Swan School and the Jefferson Community School. So this is a highly collaborative project, all for one, one for all. We all help each other out. Over the years, we've planted 33,000 trees, and we've raised about $125,000 for the schools. One special aspect of this project is that every single tree you see out here has been sponsored by someone. And um, every single tree is associated with a card that's sent in honor of someone. Every single tree generates money for the school system. So it's a win-win. <laughs>